Morning, y'all. The materials behind the AI surge are starting to tell their own story. Steel, concrete, copper, transformers, cooling equipment, and enough high-end electrical gear to wire a small city. These are the bones of every data center rising across the plains. And the orders keep climbing. Copper demand is running high enough that contractors in several regions report longer lead times and rising bid prices. Even basic electrical panels and switchgear sit on back order. The cooling systems alone require millions of gallons of water and miles of pipe, and the demand for industrial chillers is pushing delivery window near a year in some markets. Here's where that worry lands. Those materials are priced as if each site will run at full capacity for decades, but a data center ages fast. A five-year cycle can turn state-of-the-art racks into stranded space. A building designed around today's chip load can't easily pivot when the next generation pulls twice the power and needs half the floor. Local builders see the risk more clearly. It's like putting up a giant box store on the edge of town, drawing every sheet of drywall and rebar you can find. Then five years later, the anchor tenant leaves, and no one wants to shell because it was built for one purpose and one purpose only. That's the fear whispering around construction yards. If AI demand slows or ship, these concrete fortresses could sit half used while the price of copper and steel stays high for everyone else. Families who need new wiring or small shops trying to expand and city projects bidding for pipe all end up paying more because the front of the line is blocked by a handful of mega sites. We keep hearing about trillions pouring in the materials market seals at first. But if the data center wave ever stalls, the towns left holding these oversized single-use buildings may be stuck with a modern version of an abandoned big box store no one can repurpose Los Aves.